Can we just, before we get started, just take a look at my outfit that I have going on? It is literally boxers, Spongebob boxers, and then blue shorts over these boxers, and I look like a monster. Oh lord, the fashion community is gonna come for me. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video where we're gonna be doing a plant tour. Let's get into it. So because of quarantine, I ended up having to get a new hobby and then because of my depression, I had to spend money to think I was gonna feel better. So we ended up with plants. So this is my new hobby that I've been really into this year. It's been really fun. I've had a couple of hits and a couple, well, more than a couple misses. I've definitely killed a few plants along the way. But this is kind of where we're at with my collection right now. It's not a giant collection. It's not a lot of expensive plants because I'm just starting out. So I thought instead of spending $300 on one plant, why don't I spend $300 on 30 plants? And when I kill them all, it's fine. So, uh, but not a lot of them have died. Like I said, a couple, but we still have some uh, pretty good bangers here. So let's, let's see what I have going on here. So actually, because I don't really know what a lot of the names of these plants are, I did end up getting an app. I meant to cancel my membership before it actually charged me because it started with a free little 30 day trial. But then I did not cancel it in time, like a lot of my subscriptions. So I spent $30 on this app, which has actually come quite in handy with this hobby. Uh, so it's actually called Picture This. It is just an app. I only use it to take pictures of plants and be like, what? is that plant. So this is literally how I identify all of my plants here. And sometimes it can't tell me what the plant is, so then I just get lost. Okay, so my first plant, it's my aloe vera. She looks good. She definitely is stretchy because that's she faces the windows behind her. So she is definitely getting a little long trying to reach for that sunlight. So, and I forgot to turn uh, the plant obviously, so. Whoopsie, but this is my aloe vera plant. It is actually doing really good. I literally just water it every now and then, and um, it's doing great. So I really am pretty happy with this. This I plant I got from a guy that I was seeing, and um, it didn't work out, but he gave me a bunch of plants. So I guess it did work out for me. I guess I should do my... Oh, well, whatever. I can do my thumbnail later. Doesn't matter. We're doing this one at a time, yeah, because the plants need their own moment, and it's hard to stand out in a group of people. That's why I don't do group interviews for a job. Uh, oh no, I just spilled the plant everywhere. Oh, right. This next plant, I. There we go. Let's take a good look at her. So, this plant, I guess it's a dwarf jade plant. I don't know there's like three names on this app this app that i bought not that reliable to be honest but it helps so i think it's just a mini jade plant bush whatever i just said um same thing it used to live outside in the summer and it was just getting really fried because i live in sacramento and it's like 100 degrees every day for about 23 hours in the day so i ended up bringing it inside um and it's just been doing great it has like all this growth on it and um, some dead leaves too, but that happens. Uh, so it's doing really good actually. And so, yeah, I just water it like every now and again, same thing. I really get low maintenance plants because I cannot remember to water my plants. So this one's cool, it's cute. I think I had a big one like years ago. It wasn't like big, but it was bigger. It ended up dying. So I was a little reluctant to get one that looked like that one but it's going good for right now so again here we go all right next up we have this cute little rat tail here let me block my face out so we can get a good look at it little rat tail cactus it's so cute right yeah so this little thing i guess online it says it can grow up to be about a foot a year let's 
like not hold it in front of my face. Um, and it has done that. It, uh, it has grown definitely. This was like about a year's worth of growth because it used to be like one little tiny one. I also got this plant from the same guy that I was seeing and he gave me a bunch of plants. So again, his memory lives on in my life. But, um, so this, yeah, it grows pretty well. I don't water it much because it's a cactus, so it gets watered like the least out of everyone. It just sits and it droops and she lives her life. Cheers to that. And it totally has my dog's hair stuck all on its little spines. Kind of gross. Okay. So this plant is very sad right now. Um, this is my little moon cactus. It, um, my dog thought it would be, here. My dog thought it'd be real funny to jump up where all my plants are and just wreck a bunch of shit. So he ended up, it fell out of the pot. So, um, it's just sitting in there. It happened today, so I, I need to replant this, but, um, Besides the trauma that Tate caused this little plant today, um, she's doing great. She holds up well. Again, a little watering. All right, this next one, strain of aloe. This is my lace aloe. Um, yeah, it just sits in my bathroom. Does really great, a little watering. It's really cool. It was pretty small when I first got it. It's grown pretty well, to be honest. And I, uh, when I watered, I just kind of put all the water in the little crevices and it does great. I have not had anything really die on it and you know, it is, yeah, it is doing pretty good actually. So I'm very proud of myself. It looks really cute. I hope it gets like really big, but yeah, lace aloe, dope. Here is the most, here is the most random plant that I have. I, let's just, I mean, let me ask the audience. It is just on my face. Oh, oh, it's gonna focus on my face. Okay, here, I'll hide my face. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It is just a wreck in there. She's a certified freak, seven days a week. Wet ass plant. Yeah, anyways, um, so this I've had for like four years now, I wanna say, a solid like quite a few years. Um, it's just a succulent. I literally actually don't know the name of it. And I think every time I look it up, I never actually know the name. So if you know the name, mention it in the comments. But for this plant, oops, all those leaves are falling off. Um, because it's a succulent, if you just rip the leaves off, they just grow a whole new plant. So that's really cute. Oh, that's actually rooted in there. I'm not going to pick that up actually. Uh, so I had a really big stem on here and it unfortunately broke. Uh, because when I was moving stuff, I totally messed it up. So, and it was pretty big. So I ripped all the leaves off of it and just let it go to town and start growing new ones. And so I basically propagated it. And so as soon as the leaves dry up, I think is when you wait, they have dry up and get pretty big. Cause they're here, this one's not rooted. This thing, I have to hide my face. I don't know if that's even focused. Anyways. Um, once they are all rooted and dried up, they, I think they can be like planted in soil. So I actually have a whole nother bin, I just didn't grab it, of other like little leaves that have fallen off and they re-sprouted, like new whole plants. So I have probably just like 15 more leaves of this that are growing whole new plants. So I'm gonna have so many of these plants probably until the day I die. This plant is my smallest plant and this is my favorite plant. Here, let me get out of the way. Let her shine. Jay oh, no, don't show the tag. It's my, s oh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to cover my face. Here. Hallelujah. It's my string of pearls. She's so cute. Am I, like, right? She, oh, so cute. Except for that tag. I was super unsure if this would live uh so i did not plant it and it's actually been doing really well for a while so i have no reason not to plant it so i just look really disgusting leaving it in this plantary pot but it lives it does well so it's had a lot of new growth actually and so uh, it does really well it just sits in the bathroom i water it sometimes like maybe less than once every 
like maybe once every like two weeks or something like that but yeah actually and then i don't know if you can see it had like some damage right here it was damaged and so it just ended up going a little bit higher and then going and growing even more and more so i can't wait for this to be a full like really big plant so i got this like six six ish months ago and it's been doing great it's a slow grower for sure but i uh really can't wait to get it in a real pot <laughs> it looks so cute i love it it uh it's one of my favorite things i love all the strings i want more strings of everything Probably a string of good men that actually love me, but we'll sell it for string of pearls for right now. Well, this next one, I this next one, super cute, right? It's cute. It's like yay hi. She's that tall, but yes. So this one actually got uh, my favorite place to get plants is actually the two dollar bin at Walmart because they always have a bunch of plants that are like leftover and kind of not doing the best, and so I ended up going and buying those. It's since I can't rescue dogs because I don't have the space, I guess I'll just rescue plants. So this one I got there, let's see. The cute little Walmart place had this in it. It just says, what is it? Exotic angel plants. I have no idea what kind of plant this is. Let's use my plant this app. This video is not sponsored by them, but this app is just coming so much so handy this year oh okay it's a baby rubber plant huh so i don't know if that means it's like a mini one that will never get like really big like a full rubber plant or if it just means it's small i'll have to look into that more later but yeah it's doing really good it says it likes medium light and i have a skylight in my bathroom and so it just sits there totally enjoys it i love getting it really steamy because I think maybe that helps. I don't know. Who knows? But it has a lot of like new growth on it actually. And um, yeah, I need, I definitely need to repot this one too. I just got this one like a month ago. People say not to repot them immediately just because they have to adjust to the lighting that you're giving them and kind of the temperatures that you have. So don't shock the plant system too much by just automatically replanting it. I used to do that and I actually did have a couple plants die because I would replant them immediately. And so I ended up, I stopped doing that. I've had better success. So yeah, I definitely need to replant this one pretty soon, but it's doing so good and it just kind of loves life and $2 Walmart. So happy I got it. This plant, <laughs> this, here, let's see if I can get that whole leaf in there insane it's a snake plant yep i got this at green acres uh some time ago quite a few months ago uh i put it in this pot but honestly there was like not enough soil and so it just really is very softly put in there and so it ended up uh, doing this it had a gigantic baby the other ones are still super small and super short but this one really super tall and so it just lives and does its thing. I just built it actually on the ground like five minutes ago, like an idiot. So yeah, so now I have to, I really have to repot this one. I probably will, honestly, I've been meaning to make a day of it and do my repotting tomorrow. So I probably will do that. So, but yeah, it loves life too. It just sits on my windowsill and it grew a giant dang leaf. So hopefully it'll grow more soon, but maybe that's just cause it has like no soil it's like we need soil to live so but yeah that's what i did i don't know the roots are pretty good on it so yeah there's that this is just my standard golden pothos yeah i probably should propagate oh no all these like leaves are dying i did not realize that maybe i totally just lied when i said that these are doing so good but I think that probably also has to do with it's getting way colder by my window and I probably need to move my plants because it's not summer anymore and I don't think they can really handle that. So, but there's some new growth on it, that very last leaf, but yeah, it's not looking great. I totally walk back everything I just said about this plant doing great. So, oh God, don't be the girl that kills Apothos, Jay. But is that the thumbnail? Plant tour. I need to stop looking at myself in that monitor. Uh, oh my god, it looks so much better. It doesn't look so stringy. 
All right, this next plant, I don't want to be roasted for. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just going to show everyone, and we're just going to... Here she is. It is a peace lily, and she does not look great, I have to say. She really does not. She has so much yellow on her. Um, and all of the leaves turn like totally yellow. They're not white anymore. Okay, let me come around this way. So she got her a couple months ago. Uh, she, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I thought I was giving her enough light. I mean, I did just not just, well, that might be what's wrong with her. Is that she's a little root bound maybe. That's probably what's going on. All right, she is a big, big lady. Look at her. Girl, you are so just, you want so much attention. Let me have some attention in the spotlight, God. Um, yeah, I love her. She does not look like she's doing great. She's definitely got a lot of uh, browning on the edges. Did I already say the name? Dracena, Dracana, Dracaris. Um, oh, mother dragons. We stand, we stand. Susan 8 did her so dirty, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but this plant is doing all right. Definitely a lot of new growth up on the top. It's getting really big. When I got it, it was definitely way shorter. I would say like six inches shorter. I got this probably in like the March, April time when quarantine hit. Uh, so it's been doing okay. It has a lot of new growth, just a little bit of browning around the edges, some like leaves missing a little bit of their body but I mean it says I probably I don't know I don't know what to do to better this plant's life but it seems to be doing good for the most part so I'm just gonna keep going with it and if it gets really bad then I'm gonna change something but she's doing good so I'm happy for her this is my money tree I love it so much this thing ugh, I'm growing a real tree one day it will be a full-fledged, beautiful tree. And hopefully I'll have money. So <clears throat> this money tree, it does great. I made the mis- Oop, that leaf is in my face. Are we gonna just, should we hang out here? Yeah, okay. So I got this money tree, same thing, March, April. It has done wonderful. I at first was leaving it outside because I thought that's what it wanted. Uh, big mistake, totally burned off most of it. Uh, totally killed most of the plant because I left it for like two days and I hadn't gone in my backyard and I was like I wonder how that plant's doing and I came back and was like oh god it's dead so we brought it inside did a lot of rehab to it a lot of loving a lot of aloe vera for that burn baby but um, it's doing great now it grows so well it just sits in my windowsill and I don't I think I have a north facing window I'm really bad with direction but it seems to love it here. It totally does great. I think it wants like more humidity, but also it like does fine. So, you know, there's definitely some like dead leaves on it, but like that's normal. Just picked one off, uh, but that's normal. So I'm not really worried about it, but it is my favorite plant for sure. Just because uh, I'm growing a tree, you guys, a money tree. It's so cool. This plant right here, this is my croton. She is doing wonderful. Um, I did have this in my bedroom. It was just in my window, so getting moderate north light. Uh, moved into the bathroom just because I wanted some plants in the bathroom to kind of build the uh, ambiance, as they say. And so, loves it. It had some new growth. I think this is like the newest growth on it, but it does fine. I really... I didn't know what I was buying because again this was like March when I bought this plant and I was brand new had no idea what I was doing so I kind of wish I got one that was differently colored because the green is like cool but like I love the brightly colored ones my friend has one I was I'm very jealous of her um, so I should probably just buy one but I have this gal and so I think this gets like taller like over time I think it'll get definitely taller hopefully um, but for now I mean it's fine so it just lives in the bathroom and does its own thing. Is this the thumbnail? That's pretty, pretty gay. I love it. It's me, baby.
yeah well i hope you guys like this video these are all my indoor plants i don't have any outdoor because i don't have any outdoor space to put them but these are doing me pretty well in my quarantine so i'm happy with my depression buys and my quarantine buys so far for the most part but yeah if you like this video give it a like thumbs up comment do whatever or not it's fine but i'll see you guys in the next one bye